It can be really annoying when your robot isn't doing what you think it should, whether it's going round in a circle or not following a line. Watch this video for some common mistakes that you could be making. First, check if your robot interface needs to be updated. To check for updates, you go to settings and connect your interface to the Wi-Fi. Then, once you've done that, go back to settings and find the update button. Click this and it will search for any updates. Check your robot's sensors and motor ports. Check that the sensors are plugged into the numbered ports on the side of your robot and are connected in order from left to right with five sensors, that's one, two, three, four, five, or three sensors, one, two, three. Then check no wires have come loose from the actual sensors. Make sure your sensors are far enough apart. There should be one in the middle and then one on the far left near the edge of the robot and one on the far right near the edge. More sensors can be spaced between. Then check your motor ports. They should be plugged into the left at the front of the interface. The left motor should be in port A and the right motor should be in port B. Once you've checked the ports on the robot, go to your code and double check your initialize. Does the left motor port say A and the right motor port say B? Have you checked the powers of your motors? If you have used a cog system for your wheels attached to a small motor, make sure your left motor power is one and the right motor power is minus one. If this makes your robot go backwards, then swap them round and make the left motor power minus one and the right motor power one. If you've not used a cog system, this means your wheels are plugged straight into probably a large motor, keep them both as one. If you're sure this is all correct, check your grayscale sensors. Have you chosen five grayscale if there is five or three sensors on your robot? Looking at your robot from above, check the numbering of your initialize matches the sensors on your robot. No matter what number the sensors are plugged into, the initialize must match. The next part of your initialize you may have to change is the threshold. This changes the amount of light your sensors let in, very similar to the pupil in your eyes. When you're in a bright room, your pupils go smaller to let less light in and to stop you from damaging your eyes. If you're in a dark room, your pupils will go bigger to let more light in to help you see. So when you are coding, think about your room. If it is very bright, we need to let less light in. So make your threshold smaller, probably about 0.2 to 0.4. If it is a more shadowed room, you need to let more light in by making your threshold bigger probably about 0.7 to 0.9. Have a play around with different values to see which value works best for your room. Environment collection after your initialize block. Name your program environment collect and download the code. When it asks to collect environment variables again, say yes. Then you put all of your sensors on the black line. When you've done this, click yes again. Then put all your sensors on the white background. Once you've done this, press yes again. Look at the values. The top line should be high 2000s and 3000s, while the bottom line should be more than 1000 below the top line. If one of the sensors says zero, it is not plugged in. Here are some common mistakes within your blocks. I filled in an intersection tracing. Pause the video. Can you spot my mistakes? A common mistake when line following is that the robot continues off the line and begins driving around the mat. Check that you have chosen yes after stop after end. If this is no, the robot will continue after it's completed the block. 
If your robot is line following and not stopping at the correct intersection, check the side of your intersection on the map. This is a very simple mistake and easily done. Mistakes with your intersection tracing block. If the robot is not driving straight when line following, it may also be coming off the line. You can change your left and right differential. If it seems that one motor is running faster than another and making your robot turn, add a differential to the fast side to slow it down. For example, if your robot is moving at a speed of 45, but it's turning to the left, it means your right motor is moving too quick. Add a differential of five to the right motor. This will make the right motor move five slower than the left motor, and this will straighten out your robot. There are a few tips and tricks that can help make line following on the Krypton easier and more accurate. The first is crossing time in your intersection tracing block. When using intersection tracing, which is following a black line until you meet an intersection, usually you set the speed and number of loops when the, with the crossing time zero. This means the robot will stop immediately when it meets an intersection. Due to the size of the robot or angle of the sensors, when the robot comes to follow the next block, such as intersection tracing or turning, the robot may recognize the current intersection as a new one, and not move. To stop this from happening, you can add a short crossing time. This means the robot will spot an intersection and keep moving for a short time after. This means the sensors won't be stopped on the intersection and will follow the next block. A good time for crossing time is 0.3 or 0.4 seconds. When using the turning or swerving block, due to the size of the Krypton, the robot, the robot may not turn enough onto the next line to continue line following. To ensure the robot does a full turn, we can change the ending position. Usually this is middle. This means the robot stops turning when the middle sensor is on the black line. To increase the turn when turning left, change the end position to right deviated or center right. This means the robot stops turning when the right sensor is on the black line. When turning right, Change the end position to left deviated or center left. This means the robot will stop turning when the left sensor is on the black line. 